Hello everybody, happy Monday. Um, I've got my piglet get up. Woohoo! Hey, feeling good. So this week we're learning about pigs in class all week long. Um, we're reading stories about pigs. We're gonna learn facts about pigs. You get to see me read our story of the week in this awesome costume. Have you seen the little piggies crawling in the dirt? So just a few quick facts that we're learning already in class about pigs. They're incredibly smart. They um, go to the bathroom far, far away from where they eat and with their living area and you know, all that. Um, they respond to their name about two or three weeks after they're born and they roll around in the mud to cool off when they're hot. So, you know, they're super awesome. And they're not only just pink. There are black pigs, brown pigs, white pigs, spotted pigs. Did you know that a group of young pigs is called a litter? Also, they use their snouts to dig when they're looking for food and stuff like that. Um, I also read recently that they eat corn and carrots and potatoes. So they are healthy eaters. So this week for our read aloud of the week, we're reading a book called Pigsty. Honestly, guys, this was my favorite story. It's just super silly. You guys will really like this book. It's called Pigsty by Mark Teague. Monday afternoon, Wendell Fultz's mother told him to clean his room. It's turning into a pigsty, she said. Wendell went upstairs. Much to his surprise, a large pig was sitting on his bed. Pardon me, said Wendell. He shoved some toys into his closet, but the pig didn't seem to mind the mess and Wendell found that he didn't mind the pig either. He decided to take a break. When Wendell's mother came to look at his room, the pig was hiding, but the mess was still there. She threw up her hands. Okay, Wendell, she said, if you wanna live in a pigsty, that's up to you. Wendell would hardly believe his luck. Now I can live however I want. He didn't even worry when he came home on Tuesday and found a second pig in his room. The mess had grown a bit worse, but he was able to jam most of it under his bed. Pigs are all right, he said, as long as it's only one or two. In fact, they had a wonderful time. They played Monopoly until late each night and left the pieces lying all over the floor. They had paper airplane wars and pillow fights. The bed became a trampoline. Then two more pigs showed up. The mess just grew and grew. That night, when Wendell went to bed, the pigs were lying everywhere. They rolled up in his blankets and hogged two pillows, too. Wendell told himself he didn't mind, but then he found hoof prints on his comic books. It's craziness. And Friday, when he got home from school, he saw that someone had been sitting on his basketball. 
and his baseball cards were chewed. That does it, said Wendell. I've had enough. He ran downstairs to tell his mother. Sorry, she said, but your room is your responsibility. She handed him a broom. Wendell started to complain. The mess was too huge, but suddenly he remembered a saying he'd heard that many hooves make light work. He marched upstairs and organized the cleaning crew. <laughs> they swept and scoured, polished and scrubbed. Later that afternoon, Wendell inspected his room and pronounced it clean. Hmm, it's pretty clean to me. In fact, it was a bit too clean from a pig's point of view. So while Wendell inspected, the pigs prepared to go home. One of them made a phone call and a farm truck came to pick them up. They hugged and grunted and oinked, goodbye. From that day on, Wendell kept his room clean. except for those nights when his friends came by to play Monopoly. The end. Okay, so like always, be sure to answer the comprehension questions at the end of this video. Have a great rest of your Monday, guys.